We're gonna be looking for a Cotopaxi dupe today. I have a bag here from Amazon that is only $60. Hello and welcome to my channel. If we've never met before, my name's Haley. I love going hiking and traveling as much as I possibly can while maintaining a full-time job. On my channel, we talk about hiking tips, traveling tips, and even some mindset and other life updates as we go. Make sure to subscribe if any of those things sound like they interest you and you wanna follow along with my journey. And today we are going to be reviewing some travel gear for an upcoming trip. By the time this video comes out, I will be in Scotland and Ireland and I am so excited to bring those videos to you once I have created them. I'm very excited for this trip. It's going to be almost two weeks long and consist of many stops along the way. So be looking forward to that series. But today we're going to be looking at two different bags that I have purchased for this trip in hopes of finding a Cotopaxi dupe. Now a little disclaimer before we begin. Cotopaxi is a very well-known brand and I could never say that an Amazon brand is equal to the quality that they provide. But for those of us who are traveling on a budget, which is me because I am still in grad school, <laughs> We need alternative options. So we are going to review a Cotopaxi dupe today and I'm gonna give you my honest opinions on it and let you know if this is a bag that you can trust while traveling. I feel like part of the problem with traveling is that everybody kind of guilts you into making you feel like you need the best gear possible and then you end up making an investment that you weren't prepared to make or that doesn't fit your budget for your trip. So I've fallen prey to this many times. I feel like every single time that I'm planning a trip, I fall into the trap of, I need this piece of equipment and this piece of equipment. If I don't have this, it's not gonna be an okay trip. But the truth is, you can go and be fine. What you have in your day to day is likely going to be all right for you to go abroad with. It's nicer to feel secure, like you have some super expensive pack that'll never break. But in all honesty, no matter what kind of pack you have, there's the chance of it breaking. Now the pack that we're gonna be reviewing for from Cotopaxi was purchased from REI for $220, while the Amazon pack was purchased for $60. That is a big price gap. So if you are someone who is wanting to get started in travel, this Amazon pack may be a great beginner bag for you. I am a carry-on only type of traveler, so that is what we are going to be reviewing today. You can find me over on Instagram at Haley.Wanders and my YouTube channel is Haley Wanders as well. Let's go open these bags. We have our boxes. Let's go into the REI box first only because I already have it opened and this looks complicated. The backpack is sitting nice and flat in here. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem to get out. They add a little bit of padding when doing this. And I chose this blue color primarily because I, although I do love black packs, I'm gonna be traveling and I don't want to get it confused with other people. So I just went ahead and went with one of their signature kind of bright colors. Cotopaxi is a really good brand and very well known to a lot of the hiking community. And since they're so well hyped, I thought, well, at least this is a guarantee that I'm gonna get a good pack. But at $220, that's, that's a pretty large price tag even for the quality that they have. So this, my initial thoughts on this is it honestly feels very sturdy. The outside is their, their signature waterproof, very resistant to all kinds of weathering um, material. And overall, I'm not seeing any issues just off the first hand. Okay, let's get this bad boy open so we can do our first look at this. I'm gonna laugh if this is just a piece of junk. <laughs> okay, so first, nope, no, uh, 
no packaging to keep it safe or anything. It looks like it's folded up and then we just have it literally taped, made in China, sounds about right. Literally taped shut. So I'm gonna have to get my knife. Promising. Okay, first impression, I am impressed. This seems to be a just like barely lower quality than this material here. This one has more of like a waxy coating, which would be better for rain resistance, obviously. But this is a pretty dang close material. It's definitely not going to get wet. It's going to roll right off of it. It just doesn't have that final waxy coat, which makes this one feel more expensive, feel thicker. Now, this one, this one is a 45 liter and this one is a 42. So just holding them up, the black one is actually shorter than the Cotopaxi one. And that's a slightly concerning to me, but I'm assuming that means that it's going to expand out further. Now let's look at the dimensions of each of them. It is 20.5 inches by 12.99, so 13. 13 inches by 6.69 inches. So Ryanair on their carry-ons, they allow 22 by 16 by 8 inches. So this pack fits within that at 20.5 by 13 by almost seven. So this one is definitely gonna fit within the requirements and it's actually three more liters than this one. So we will see what the comparison looks like that way. Now the Cotopaxi Alpa 42 liter travel pack, the dimensions for this one are 21.5 inches by 13 by nine. So it's a little bit thicker, but that doesn't mean that it has to actually be that consistency. As I mentioned, the cloth are able to compress, so it doesn't have to be that nine, to nine inches every time that you use it. That's just the maximum. Okay, moving on to opening these bad boys up. Let's do the black one first. We've got a side handle on the black one as well as backpack straps. These are just the shoulder straps and then it also has a chest strap going across which adjusts up and down as it should. And it also has this strap here. Oh, I just discovered a secret pocket. It has this strap here which would allow you to rest it on your hard case carry-on luggage if you so d decided to use that but we are not gonna be using that, but it's a nice feature to have. And it looks like that is all the straps. On the Cotopaxi, we have the side handle strap, so you can hold it like a traditional suitcase on the side. We have hip straps. This is my favorite part about this when I was researching that are actually removable. So there's a Velcro underneath here. And you can actually remove these if you do not want to use them. And the backpack straps unclip at the bottom and you can actually tuck them in to the back of this so you don't have to have the straps out at all. Whereas this one is attached permanently. So you have to use the backpack straps. And that's only important to me because I have, I actually have a backpack that I'll be using for my personal item and it has a specific compartment for my camera which is why I wanted to use it so much as my personal item. So I really wanted a pack that could actually be completely flat on the back and I don't have to worry about straps and I can just carry it. So this one has side handle, top handle, this one also has a top handle as well as the duffel handle. So this one is the one that really <laughs> excites me in my opinion because I can carry it over my shoulder as well as have my backpack at the same time. So let's actually undo this. And this is that same material as the outside of the pack on the duffel handle. Moving on. It might be possible for you to attach a duffel handle to this. It doesn't come with one but there's a small latch down here that you could clip it to 
but up at the top there isn't one here so you would have to clip it to something like this or the top handle. All right, let's actually open this. So this is the front pocket and it looks like it's actually a pretty shallow pocket so it actually only goes to here and it has a an additional zip inside of it that is also a pretty shallow zip but this material in here it feels kind of plasticky but it feels very durable maybe if you use it a lot it could break down but it feels it smells weird. It smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it feels like it's a pretty durable material. The inside is basically what I would equate to a tent material, the orange part. So far, it's looking really good. It has a, a key latch, key hook right there. Okay, moving on to the next pouch. Whoa! Okay, this is where it's gonna look like it's opening into a suitcase. So, we have two compartments here. I believe this one's going to look similar. So we have two compartments here. We have separate kind of packing cubes, if you will. And this is expanding out into that front pouch. And then it looks like there's a, another section up in here under behind where that other section was and then a small pouch up at the top. This is basically hardcore. It looks like heavy duty mesh to me. That's what this is feeling like. It feels really durable. Like it's definitely not gonna rip unless you take a knife to it. And then we have our big pouch over on the other side. USB cord. Okay, and it looks like this is the part that is going to hold most of your clothing. There is the cinch straps for when you get everything packed in. You can kind of help compress it a little bit. And like I said, this orange material is really just feeling like tent material, which is a very thick material. And it looks like... Oh! Okay, so what it looks like is that you can attach... This is pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. You can attach this USB to a charging bank and put it inside this pocket, probably. And then on the outside here, you open, you slide this little latch open and it has your two ports. So, okay, one port. So over on the side here, we have that where you can have access to that even if you don't, if you don't wanna open your bag. So that is what the USB cord goes to. I have a feeling that having a cord in electronics as part of the bag would, that electronic would probably wear out a lot faster than the bag would, which is a little concerning, but it's kind of a cool feature. Okay, and then this is the expander zipper. So if you are needing to expand and push your clothes down in here, that's where that happens. So we just unzip this fold right here and it expands out another few inches. And that gives you a pretty deep, gives you a pretty deep space there. I could fit a lot of clothes in that. Okay, and then let's look at the last pocket. So we will zip up the expander. and get into the laptop pocket. So let's zip it all up. Okay, the laptop zipper is down here at the bottom, it looks like. Oh, we've got more than just the laptop stuff. So it even has a little <laughs> emblem on its strap saying, this is where your computer goes. So <laughs> this is a huge pocket. You could fit a ginormous computer in there. And then it also has a front pouch that is pretty deep as well. It goes down to about here that you could put any other tablet or something in, maybe a switch. Um, this generally is just a good flat place if you have like clothes that you want to keep more open instead of being completely folded. And then it just has some additional pockets in here, maybe for cords or anything like that. Wow, I am impressed with this giant pocket. Okay, let's investigate the pocket on the back. 
So just under this strap here, there's another pocket, I'm assuming for like your passport. Oh, and there's a lot of padding in here. So that's gonna probably feel really good on your back. There's a pocket in here, just a normal pocket the size of this square. So you can keep your passport or anything that you need on hand, some cash, a card that would be safe against your back. Now, all of these zippers aren't really theft proof by any means. Most of them are on the back side. So someone could just open your bag and get into it. But the ones that are important are on the other side. And then some of them are on this. Oh, we have an additional pocket. We have an additional side pocket. So just here on the underside of it, so if you're carrying it like a briefcase, on the underside of that there is a zipper on this side which just goes into a small, really long pocket. I would definitely put a straightener in here. <laughs> I'm just thinking of all of my products. So that would be definitely a good use of this pocket here. Okay, I think that kind of does it for our dupe, our Amazon dupe, Tang Coral. Tang Coral, I have no idea how to say that brand, but I am impressed. For $60, this is a really good pack. Okay, moving on to the interior of the Cotopaxi pack, Alpa 42. Um, one feature that I actually kind of forgot about these ones and this one as well that's why it reminded me they have a locking mechanism so these straps on the sides actually prevent zippers from being opened so if i were to be on this side here and i was a stranger and I tried to open this it would immediately block the zipper so when you actually go to use it you have to tuck it under and then pull it open so that's a nice security feature. Okay, opening it, there's no like, that one has a front pocket, this one has a small one, we'll get to that. Okay, so looking at this pack here on the inside, pretty colors. Um, this mesh feels about the same as the other one, to be honest. When you take a closer look at it, this one actually has a thicker weave to it. So this one looks like it would be more dur durable. It has a bunch of different compartments, so that's nice. Um, we got a small, long compartment on the top. Probably has like an inch and a half of depth to it. So you can keep things kind of separate, like its own little personal packing cubes. This one opens into a big main compartment. Ooh, and that one goes, this one goes really deep. So this compartment actually is a pretty good depth to it. It looks like it'd be a main spot for shoes or any other kind of thing like that. This looks like it'd be our main closed compartment. It does come with a Cotopaxi rain cover. So this, although the outside material is basically waterproof, this is just a nice extra layer. It has straps in it so that you can make sure your rain cover stays on. And it's pretty. This stitching is really strong on this. So we can, we can see the quality there. Zipping that back up, it's just a small compartment here. You'd need to lay flat things inside of that. Okay, there isn't a big zipper that opens this entire compartment. It's just this thick one down here which fills up most of this. And then our flat one up here. Now the reason that this one is flat right here is because on the top of the pack, we have this zipper that opens into a smaller compartment. And this fills this top part of the front of the pack. So we have a small zipper for flat things that has a few little small compartments in it. And several of these really tiny, not really tiny, decently sized pockets on the front part here. And then this pocket itself is pretty big. You could fit a lot of things in here. Okay, looking at our other big main compartment. This one is pretty straightforward, it looks like. That's it. <laughs> You open it and it's just the thickest compartment and this side is the side that's against your back. 
So the bottom of this is actually really thick because it has that back padding on it. Over on the side here, there is a tiny little kind of hidey hole from your big main part of your pack. And it looks like there's a zipper to open this from the side. So this whole part is our big main compartment. You would probably need packing cubes to go inside of this to really get the value out of the space it has because it's just completely open. But there is a zipper down here on the side. So just along this inside ridge here, if we close it up, just under here, which also has that zipper locking mechanism. So you gotta stick it under before you can pull that through. It opens all the way. You have access to your main big compartment from the outside of your pack. And that looks to be all the zippers for the Cotopaxi pack. We have two handles on the side here. I didn't see that before. Okay. These are both excellent packs, in my opinion, just from opening them up. Now, that doesn't go to say how they will withstand pressure. Cotopaxi also has a, looks like a singular, just on one side, not both sides, water pouch. So if you're wanting to hold a water pouch, this one has, it's pretty skinny. So I wouldn't try to fit like a 42 ounce water bottle in there, but it has a side pouch for it. And it is thick material. This thing is not gonna rip. So the reviews on the Amazon one are not wonderful. They're pretty good, don't get me wrong. And the pack itself looks to be of pretty good quality. It seemed that the problems that people were having online was with the seams ripping. So if you're gonna go for the Cotopaxi dupe, definitely be sure not to overstuff it, which is I'm sure a lot of people's problems. This one has been known to withstand absolute torment, which is why they've made the price tag what it is. Um, people go backpacking for months with these bags, which is why they are notoriously so good. These zippers are just like heavy duty. These ones are also pretty good, but they're not as good as this Cotopaxi one. I would definitely certify this as a Cotopaxi dupe, but do not try to go backpacking for months with it that's not gonna work out just from looking at the reviews and looking at it itself. But if you are just using this for a short trip or if you'd like to get started on your traveling but you don't really have the funds to go for the nice bag that's gonna last you a while, I have a feeling this one would last pretty long until you can maybe save up for a nicer pack like this. Definitely go check this pack out. I will leave the Amazon link down below in the description and you guys can see for yourself. So I'd like if anyone is looking for backpacks or travel carry-ons, test them out. I purchased the Cotopaxi one from REI purposely because I know that I will be able to try it out and if I'm not completely satisfied with it with the REI membership, I'm able to return it no questions asked even if, after I've used it. So I'm looking forward to testing this one out and we will see what use we can get out of this one. This would be perfect for gifting to someone if they are wanting to start their travels but they're not really sure where to start or they're not really ready. But honestly, the best way to get started is just to do it. You don't have to be ready. If you have a tried and true travel pack that you take everywhere, leave it down in the comments below. If you're afraid to travel, don't be. Just pull that trigger. You can do anything you want. If you found this video helpful in any way, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.